chapter 5. It's a long reading from verse 1. Let's go maybe up to 17. Can I get somebody to read for me? Any brother, sister, who is through? Mark chapter 5, verse 1 up to 17. Nani amepata? Hamuna Biblia? Ula amepata tusome. Yes, brother, kama amepata tusome. I'm Victor. Mark chapter 5, verse 1 up to 17. Yes. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, man with unclean spirit, spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame, tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the, unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And for with Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and then had, and they had read violently down, down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they, and they that fed the swine fled and told it to the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed to the devil and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray to pray him to depart out of the co of their coasts. Amen. Thank you, brother, for that long reading. Uh, you wonder which direction I want to take. Uh, this is about the madman of Gadara. And as we have read, uh, this man was living in a far country, in the mountain, in the tombs. And you know, a normal person will not like in the tombs. See, in a cemetery, it's a place where they bury people. And many people, they fear to stay in the cemetery. I remember one day, while I was living in Nanyuki, uh, we lost a sister. And we went to bury him in Nanyuki Cemetery. And the late Pastor Richard Gaduri ministered on that day. He conducted the burial services. And from Sanane, Mpaka Samoja, Brother Gaduri was preaching. And the old people had run away. They left us few in the cemetery. And it was becoming dark. So we are afraid. So it is not something good to stay in the cemetery. The prophet says demons love also to walk there. So here is a man. He was not born in a cemetery. He was born in a family. 
But here we found him in the cement, in the tombs now. That's where he's now staying. That's where he's now abiding. Eh? And he's not enjoying, he's crying, cutting himself with the stones. Eh? The life of Christ, shouting, eh? doing things that are not normal. See? It was just a painful and stress, 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 stressful life of crying day and night, mm? cutting himself with the stones while living in the mountain and in tombs away from his home and his family. He had come, the way the prophet is expressing it, from a, a Christian family. Well, spiritual, Christian background. But in between there, we don't know what happened. We found him now in the, in the tombs, crying, shouting, cutting himself under the influence of demons and still speak the way we have been, been hearing. Very fierce that nobody could pass that way. You pass that way, you meet him, you are, you are finished. But we want to thank God. Uh, verse 1, as we started reading, and they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarens. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. We are going to see the message, how the prophet says that this madman, even though he was full of demons, but he had the seed of God. It caused Jesus Christ to cross the sea, that rough sea, to come to this place where this man was, amen, to meet him and save him. Because the seed of God is like a spark. It will always attract the Spirit of God. Uh, the prophet gave us the story of an eagle. A seen eagle as he moves, crying, whistling, is looking for an eagle down here. And an eagle will always hear the voice of the mother and it will respond. So Jesus, wherever he was, because the Bible says that we don't seek for him, he's the one who is seeking for, for us. So when we hear people saying, I'm going to the mountain, to the forest, to seek for God, liar. It is God who is seeking for a sinner, not a sinner seeking for God. It's God who will come for you. You cannot seek for God, it's God who will seek for you. So we see Jesus Christ stopping all the business, the other side of the sea, coming to Gadara to meet this man. And we don't hear, after he met that man, he saved him, we don't hear that he, he remained there doing another work. He left and went back. And even the businessmen, those owners of the pigs, they were not happy with Jesus Christ. They loved to see that man crying and cutting himself there. They could not do anything. But when their business was destroyed, almost 2,000 pigs, according to the way we have been reading here, see, they were angry with Jesus Christ. And the last verse says, they chased him away. Mm. The last verse we read says they told him no, he should go because he's destroying our business. They love the business than the, the soul of this young man. So I want just to pick that, I want just to take that side, that line of this man cutting himself in a miserable life in a miserable place. And many times we have gone that line. A uh, brother on the, on the machine, can you give me the message 1961-0427? Only believe para 16. And this is the one zero four twenty seven. I 
Are you there, brother? Yes. And Jesus had left Galilee over in the land that he came from. Yes, and crossed. And crossed over the sea, feeling late, no doubt, to go over to Gadara for revival. No doubt. No doubt. But what the father had led him over across the sea to Gadara. And we all know the story that there was only one person saved. That was a maniac in Gadara. We don't see another person being saved. It's only this man was a madman in Gadara who was only saved. We had good people there. But here is the, this man, the maniac in Gadara, who only was saved by Jesus Christ, who caused Jesus Christ to cross the sea. And the prophet said the sea was rough, but he crossed purposely to save the maniac in Gadara. And he was out into the field and the cemetery. He had went wild. And they put chains on him. The Bible says he was a man that you cannot tame. He, they chained with him with chains and he, he was able to break because he had those powers of demons. And they put chains on him and the demon's power could break the chains. And, and I have often thought going around in the institutions and watch a person who is who has been possessed with those evil powers. How strong they are. Have you ever met them? They are very strong. Even if just a young lady, like my sister Saron here, you cannot contain her. She will pick the five men and walk with, with them like this. I have always met those men and, and, and women who are possessed by demons. You go to pray for them. See, I live close to the second school and often they are hit by demons and I am called to go and pray for them. You get a lady, a young lady, possessed with demons, five men holding her but moving with them like this. You see, a lot of power. Those are the power that this man was now using. The power of demons, strong they are. They take a policeman sometime to beat them down. Remember, down in Florida one night, a man that couldn't uh, have weight over 120 pounds wiped five policemen just as easy as you, you will whip your, your child. You see, five policemen, they are beaten. And then, when that evil spirit went off of him, why? There was nothing hardly. He was just as meek as he could be. So this man was just under the influence of demons. But in the absence of demons, this man is just normal. And the demons are, they, they, they are not the respect of any man. They can, talk, they can attack anybody who doesn't have God. If you are not born again, you open a way for demons to attack you. That's why my brother, in the morning session, he embarked so much on, 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 on being born again, which is very important.
completely hold of that man until he even confessed Jesus said we know who you are the holy one of God why come to torment us before our time come see he was so completely surrendered to the devil until the devil could use his tongue and you know I like that I hope this don't hurt nobody's feeling but we can get so completely surrendered to God till he can use our tongues See, to speak in other language and to preach the gospel, to sing the gospel. See, if there's power of God, we can sing the gospel. Without looking who is next to you. Hmm? Brother was saying here, yeah, you sing to the Lord and you sing as if you are sick. No, open your mouth when you are singing so that you sing to the Lord. Hmm. If what we are doing, we are saying, we are saying, we are saying, we are saying, we are we we are, we, are, we are serving the most high God. Kwa nini tusiime na miwetu yote? Tukia tumefungua midomo yetu kapita kumuimbia. May God help us. We can so completely surrender to God till he can use our tongues to speak in tongues, to preach the gospel, to sing the gospel, to speak visions that we are looking at and the mystery of God. If we just completely surrender to the power of God, that is all. And if the devil can get a man under his control and do that, what can God do with the one? Get one under his control, you see? So this maniac, and you notice, when Jesus was crossing the sea, the devil knew that he was on the road to a great, to, to a great win, a, a great victory for God. And he tried to drown him that night, cause a storm to come up. But Jesus knew that God had sent him because he did not own, only what God led him, to do. You see, they, they wanted to, to, to destroy Jesus so that he knew this work is going, is going to be a great work. But you see, the work of God, the purpose of God cannot be defeated. What God purposed must be fulfilled. You see, the devil cannot destroy the purpose of God. If you are a seed of God, God will come for you. Doesn't matter where you are, God will have to look for you. Now we see some characters that are following this man. This man, kuwa mwenda simu, hakuzaliwa kuwa mwenda simu. No. Mwenda simu liaza tu. I have a relative. Ambao, by 1980, alikuwa Nairobi University, akiwa nafanya engineering. Akamaliza, kaenda Germany, akafanya master degree. Akatoka huka, akawa manager wa kisumo hiyo mcheli na hiyo skimu hiyo na hito na mna gani ahero manager wa ahero faki akapanga vizuri sana hiyo planning ahero sehemu kubwa ea eh, liusika sana kicho ikariba ikaribika as I'm talking now hako nyumbani kipata ea eh, ni mtu wa mevaa vizuri anawea kizungu vizuri akali aju but he is a madman so unawana wanajiki katusaliwe tukiwa waenda simu Wenda simu inatupata tu kiwa tuwazimba Na inakuja kwa sababu Tunatabia fulani ambao tumejiingisa ndani That's very true Tunavitu fulani ambao inatuingisha 
Tuko katika ulimwengu ambao eh, nabii anasema we are living at a very dangerous time. This age we are living in. It is an age, it's an evil age. Prophet preached the message God of this evil age. And we are living in Satan's age. And in the message of Satan at 65 08 29 Satan said him, para 14 para 18 Now let us look now to this great for a few minutes this great sinful day that we are now living in I don't believe there's ever was a day that I have ever read in history there has been great days of persecution when the children of God were put to death on every hand but to see the deceitfulness of the enemy we have never had a day like this we are now living in never in the holy history we are living in a very dangerous age it is the most cunning deceitful day and when i see that it brings this that the christians has to be more on this on his toy today than he ever was in any age christian in this age the prophet is warning we must be, be on our toys in another word we must be ready This age we are living in, especially young men and young women. This age we are living in. And the devil is very deceitful. In other ages, like in the first Exodus, see children were killed by the Roman by the Pharaoh. When Moses was born, you know, when they were coming out, the children were being killed. That the first exodus second exodus when Jesus Christ was here the children were also killed again the third exodus again we see again our children are being now killed not by sword now but the cunningness of the devil Satan na kwa mjaja sana that hata elimu imeshindwa kupambana nayo that ukiwa na elimu ya kutozwa unafikiri utapambana na shetani haiwezi kila ambao kitaweza pamana shetani ni neno la Mungu ambao amefunua kizazi ambao tunaishi ndugu yangu What the brother was saying hiyo ndio dawa ya kushinda ukora wa shetani katika kizazi hiki outside that my brother you cannot Doesn't matter wewe ni kijana ama ni mzee unless you are under the blood my dear brother hutaweza ukora wa shetani umekuwa wa hali ya juu sana Mungu atusaidie. Ni kwa sababu gani? Si kwa ambao tunaishi ndani. Exodus ya kwanza watoto waliuawa. Ya pili wakati wewe sana bokuje pia watoto wana wanaua. This age you are living in again. Shetani amejitokeza tena kuangamiza vijana. Na vijana ndio nguvu ya kesho ndio wanasiasa wanasema these are the rulers of tomorrow. Sasa hao shetani anataka kuangamisha ili kuangamisha the coordination of nation. Mambo inakuwa makali sana. Nabii anasema the temptations that sisi tulipitia iko tofauti na hao ambao wanapitia. Hii imekuwa ni kali sana. Everywhere. Hata katika masimu temptations ziko pale. Mambo ambayo mnaona katika masimu ni mambo ya jabu jabu tu na mnaona kuangisha katika dhambi. Ukitembea kwa street mambo ni makali. Umepambana, umetoka primary with the good points, unaingia secondary, temptation ziko mahali pale. From there unapambana, unapita mtihani wa form 4 unaingia college, majaribio makubwa sasa yako mahali pale. And a parent, ukiona mtoto wako ameenda college ametoka huko, akiwa bado anasema bwana kubariki, huyo mbebe yuko na mzee bwana akubariki sana. Kwa sababu kama tuna mahali ambao watoto wamekufia na sasa ni college. Wanatoka hapo wakiwa wazuri sana. Lakini wanapoingia college wamekwisha. Why they enter into bad company the brother was saying. Company ambao wanaingia nazo. 
Mtu ametoka hapa kwa mzuri, lakini anapoingia na mna hiyo, wanajiingisha katika tabia zingine mbaya ambao wanapata watoto wengine ambao wame, tayari wamepigwa na shetani. Wale hawajui kama kisasa ambao tunaishi ya kwamba ni cha ukora. Lakini wewe na mimi tumekuwa na neema ya Mungu imetujalia tunajua what is happening today. Ukiona watu wametoa nguo wanatembea uchi, unajua tu the god of this evil eh eji ndio amepanda huyo jamaa. That demon that is hanging on how old him ambaye ile mfanya siokoke ndio inamfanya anatoa nguo. Somewhere atakuja kuona bia anasema why should a woman remove clothes? Kwa nini? It is the devil hanging on him. Ah! Si huyo mtu ni bure namna hiyo hata hawezi kujielewa na hajui kama ako uchi. Wewe ndio unaona kuja lakini yeye haoni kwa sababu there is a devil hanging on her. Ako katika that first 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 birth which is natural that the brother was reading here. I want you to bring that message back. Question and answers. Brother read it here. 1964 0823 morning. Question and answer. Question number 243 1 Paragraph 14. Bring that one. That natural first birth that wewe umekubiriwa kanisani umesikia summons and summons summons na wewe unapusha. Hiyo ni mambo ya baba. Mimi baba, mimi mayo hiyo ni akina mama. Hapana. This message is not for our mama na wazee na baba zetu. Hapana. Ni yetu. Mungu alituletea sisi as individual. At, a, at a accountable age. Hey, si wewe ni hapa kama tuna mwili ambako ako ako under under 12 years here is there anybody under 12 years nani huyo nani huyo hakuna ama yako hakuna sasa leo nyinyi kabla hatujatoka hapa nataka kila mtu na mnae baby mkono anasema hapana mimi nachukua huyo Yesu <laughs> that's true okay tulikuwa tumesoma but let's read it again Dear brother Branham, will all the sons and the daughters of true born again believers be saved? That was a great question. The answer is just direct no. Brother, no. Amekasia jambo hilo sana. Ama wengine wetu tunacheza naye na mna yetu tunatembelea katika court ya wazazi wetu. Na anasema no brother. Sio want They sure won't. See? As I copy David of see on this remark. God don't have grandchildren. See, just sons and daughters. See? They have to be born just exactly like their father. And their mother was born of the spirit. The way we passed the stages the parents passed through to get salvation, you must also undergo the same stages. You must also go, go, go through sanctification, you must go through sanctification, you must go the step of baptism of the Holy Ghost. You must hear the word of God and you are convicted in your heart. That's very true. Some of us we just go to God we have never met God ana kwaana. Nabii anasema you must meet him ana kwaana. Where do you meet him ana kwaana? You are not like Moses that you will meet him on, on the mountain Sinai talking to you. Eh? No, you hear the word of God. And the word of God always will bring your heart. The way Peter was preaching on the day of Pentecost. He preached until people were pricked and when they were pricked they asked what shall we do our brothers? Peter on the day of Pentecost this Jesus Christ whom you have crucified God has made him both Christ and Lord and when they heard it, they were praying in their hearts so you and me the word must be preached until your heart is being pricked and you on a baby mikono need not just following the parents you must meet God ana kwa ana face by face now paka you can testify kweli mimi nisikia neno na nikaokoka not because wamesema nimesema kwamba today kila mtu lazima aokoke alafu nasema kwa sababu mhubiri amesema tuokoke wacha mimi ni nisiwonekana nilitoka hapana you must have a testimony that nilisikia neno na nikanichoma moyo that's the way god has put it 
and it remains the same. See, that's what makes a man a new person. It's because he is born again. The reason of all these sermons is for you to get born again. Every Sunday motion, every Sunday sermon is for you to get born again. Born again if you're not born again. And it beats logic, my, my dear brother. Eh? All these years you have had this sermon, you have had this sermon. One day you will meet this because you will not you will not stay here for long. Who takapa milele? Dugiangu James, dugiangu mwai. You will not stay here for long. Hmm? Wewe sema kwa sababu wewe ni kijana utaishi hapa miaka yote. No. Hii hii ujana wangu inaenda kuisha kesho. Na uzee eh pastor alikuwa tunaongea kwa ofisi na uzee unapokuja kutuambia kwamba unakuja. Unazituka tu uzee nguvu zinafanya nini zinakuisha? Kila ambao ulikuwa unafanya that is not moving. Some of these old men walikuwa wanakubiri hapa neno Samo ni karibu tatu ine. Wanatoka hapa wanaenda town wanakubiri wanaenda. Sasa hiyo hawezi fanya hivyo. Eh? Kama pastor Bagot ya tuwa Port Victoria. Very strong man in his time. Angekubiri katika Samo ni ine tano kwa siku moja. Anakubiri kanisani, anatoka na kubiri tena usirika mwingine, anaenda nje public meeting anakubiri hiyo hiyo soko nyingine anaenda soko nyingine anaenda soko nyingine one day. Leo hii akikubiri moja amekwisha. So yani men, msifikirie kwa mtakuwa tu na hizo nguvu mpaka miaka yote. No. Time inakuja mpaka nyinyi pia mnaenda kuwa ni wazee. Ndugu walikuwa nasema usingoje 63 years. Kama ule mwingine ambaye amekuwa kwa Tuko pamoja pale. See, he's because he's born again. Eh? Reborn. His first birth brings him a natural man. That's the way I wanted the brother. His His first birth, your first birth and my first birth only brings us to the natural man on earth. And a natural man on earth can do anything the way brother was saying. If you are not saved, you are untamable. That's why you cannot help your parents. Kasi nyumbani kwa sababu you are not you are a natural man. Wewe unaona kama wanakusumbua. Unajua mimi nawasungumzia hata mimi as a parent. Niko na watoto na watoto. Niko na wanaume na wanawake pia niko nao. Eh, niko na wasichana na vijana. Mm. Hii mama bado tunakubiri is not from from, from moon. Ni vitu ambavyo vinatoka hapa kadhina. We are also experiencing it. Tafauti that is born again daughter and son. Waka ambao wamekoka na ule ambao hajaoko utaona tofauti. Utaona huyu mwingine akiambiwa jambo ni mbio. Ana obey na huyu mwingine the Lord your man huyu anakuangalia tu hivi. Ah bado eh buda buda naye huyu. Natural man. Na natural man huyu ndio huyu ndio huyu mwenda simu agadara. Ndio huyu anafanya mambo mengine maajabu. Ndio naona amechoka nywele inakaa hivi. Kama shetani nyingine ya gadaha. Juzi kijana ndugu mmoja akaenda university Nairobi. Kukuja all the first year ako first year na kuja tu all the easy ambao tuko sisi. Jamaa anakuja nywele inakaa hivi. Eh, jamaa anaingia katika tunaangalia mtu. Sasa wewe tena nimekuwa tafuna gani? Nywele ina tayari imechongwa hapa na imekushwa hivi inakaa hivi. Na jamaa akadoa mke mwingine kamevaa anakaa hapa hivi na mna hiyo. Eh, anatembea hivi. The natural man. The natural man can do anything. Akiingia katika kampuni yote, si anakuja tu kanisa kwa sababu wazazi wanalasimiza kufanya nini? Kuja kanisa. Lakini akitoka kwa wazazi naenda kutana kampuni hapo sasa ndio that 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 now comes out. Anaanza kufanya vile wengine wana wanafanya kwa sababu the Birds of similar feathers flock together together and kitu ambayo imeua watoto wetu ni company alikuwa anaishi prime alikuwa anaishi second room maybe boarding hapo sheria siko kali kali anaenda college ambao sheria sasa wamewashona nasema kila mtu sasa afanye nini ajichunge alafu anapataka pesa kidogo hii help ah vijana sasa wanakuwa wenda simu wenda simu tu wagadara utasika mtu Wenda simu wapi? 
ati akipata kurudi nafasi Mombasa yeye pia anaenda kukuja Mombasa sasa anaangalia wimbo tumenasema ina gadi anataka akimbia ile kisumu hata ajali simetendeka unakumbuka unastuka una, una mtoto wako amekufia kisumu ama busia ama Port Victoria ameenda huko kwa, 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 kwa bahari jusi mwingine wakakuja huko kwa Lake Victoria wanaenda kuoga pale kwa chest base ya mheshimiwa babu na mwamba from MP wa Bdalangi na jamaa ka drone pale hasa mzazi anashindwa na mtoto alimpeleka Nairobi University nimekuwa namna gani ndani anapatikana huko Bdalangi kwa Lake Victoria kwa chest base you see unawacha mzazi akiwa na maswali mengi University administration pia haina habari ya kwamba hai officially haijatubako watu huko budalagi huko kwa ekipitori watu waende huko waende wafanye matembezi. Sasa unashindwa kuelewa ni jambo gani ambalo linafaa. Kwa hivyo wapendwa unapozungumza mambo haya nataka muone this natural man on earth is a very dangerous man. Hata kama ni mtoto wako naishi naye is a very dangerous. He will even threaten you. Budao sinletee mambo hapa. Umekuwa mzumbufu sana anaambia baba yake hivyo unajua huyu this is a natural man now that one they handle him with the care brother they have killed wameua i have a testimony of that brother our deacon busha church our deacon the late michael binda kijana wake na alipenda kijana alijaribu kuweka na asemali yake kwa kijana Kijana alipiga yeye na chuma na akaua yeye pale pale. Kijana wake amekuwa mwenda sima na kunywa bangi. This one ni mfungaji wa bangi huyu. Huyu bangi ikipita kwake atakufunywa atavuta. Because there's nothing that can stop him. Hakuna kitu ambacho inaanza zuia huyu. Huyu anything passing his way. Kwa sababu hakuna hana guts za ku resist hiyo. Hiyo inaingia kama ni wasichana nguo za kuweka hapa na mna, wanaweka wale wasichana mambo nasikia wako university wanatembea uchi si mnajua nyinyi mambo kweli si mnaona mambo hayo i have a boy anakuja niambia baba mambo ambayo iko pale my father ni ile ya kuumisha at watch at two wasichana ambao ni students even our lecturers wanawake lecturers wetu pia wanakuja wakiwa uchi This one hii haijui masomo. Kila baada inasaidia hii ni neno la Mungu ujumbe wa wakati. The revealed word brother. Hiyo ndio itaua huyu mtu. That's why the prophet his second birth brings what? Brings him a spiritual man of heaven. This is the person now. This is now God. Huyo ukikaa na yeye you are onakana yeso kwa nyumba that is the real brother now that is now your son na kuna yule mwingine huyo ni muwaji ai dugu mbona unakasa mambo hayo ni ukweli dugu ili neno halikukuja kuchesa ili neno likuja kutubadilisha paulo when he was being called saulo he was a natural man of the earth what did he do Madara At the same time fighting to protect the religion very religious man but he is a murderer So he mama kucheza ndugu yangu huyu mtu is very dangerous man When Paul was a natural man a madara hungecheza naye and as he was going to Damascus with these words to destroy those one who are called of Jesus Christ it took Christ to come on the way you see to speak to him to change him so that he is born, being born again and when Paul was being born again when he was born again he says all that i did everything now sasa na hesabu kama ni mafi now he realized now the importance of being born again He was not a spiritual man of heaven now. No natural man. So it is true. Anybody doesn't matter who you are. That nature is a very bad nature. 
is the nature that the devil will use any time to destroy anything that is there. So it is a bad nature. My brother, my sister, run away from me when there's still time. That nature, if it is in you, run away from it. Come to Jesus. See, so that you take a spiritual man of heaven. See, it changes him. His soul, not his outward. Not outside concerns. His outward being. See, he says this. He still feels and smells, tastes and hear, but he's inward. But his desire, what it motivates him now, has been changed. In another word, you are dead to the, to the things of the world now. Because if the things of the world is in you, and you love the world, the love of God is not in you. He has been changed by God. Remember now, the only way that this could happen will be this, just like it was in the time, time of Roman centurion, Roman centurion, Paul told the Roman him and and Sila when he wanted to pull his when he wanted to pull his sword and kill himself. Because God had because God had shook the jail down with an earthquake. He said, Do do thyself no harm, seeing we are all here. Rise. And wanted to know what he could do. He said, Rise and be baptized, calling upon on the name of the Lord, and thou and thy house shall be saved. Salvation is the only uh, great thing that you can give to your family. You can give them houses, land, and whatever. But salvation to your children, that's the great inheritance that you can leave to your family. You remember that Sister Hattie, when Brother Branham visited him and he was talking about the third pool, how God created those squirrels. And the Sister Hattie says, Brother Branham, that's nothing but the plain truth. Then the Spirit of God comes and says, Sister Hattie, God is happy with you. Can you say anything that you, that you want in life? The prophet says, he could have said, I want to be a billionaire. Who does not want to be a billionaire? Especially in Kenya, here where people love money. I want to be that. Say, say anything. You can even, even if you can suggest even to, to be a young girl of 18 years. Today is possible. He could have said, see what I don't get, what I don't get, what I don't get, what I don't Oh, you mama Kashanga, you say me nini. Brother Branham, I want the salvation of my two boys. Brother Branham Anasema, that was the greatest desire of that mama. Now Kasema, in the name of Jesus Christ, I give you. All the jana, they were a natural, they were a natural man of the earth. As Brother Branham and Mama na wadu kwa mama likuwa pale wakiwa wanapika hadithi yao, all the jana walikuwa huko katika ndani ya nyumba, wakiwa wanacheza wakifanya misaha. Because they are natural. Yes. How I live, kila maki naendelea. Just imagine, here is the prophet of God. He's in the house. Na vijana kwa sababu, hawa jielewe, wanapika kele. Hakuna heshima. No respect. Wanapika kele ukuwa kicheka cheka, wakiwana kama hini upusi. But when the spirit of God came down, and hit them, they were changed. They did not come just chewing, chewing the, the, the gum. They came crawling, crying. That's the true salvation, brother. They came crying. You don't just come laughing, eh? looking and say, people are going, no, because people are going, no. They came crawling, coming here saying, we want to be saved. We want to be saved. And they were saved. I thank God today, 
They are preachers. They are preachers today. So the natural man is a very dangerous man. And you must also meet God the way your parents met God. So what are we saying? We are saying new birth is very important to your life. For you to overcome the temptation of this age, this evil age, you must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which is the new birth, brother. You must accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You see? The natural man, a person who cannot be tamed, a person who cannot be advised. The brother was saying, you are even at school, you are rude, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are unruly. You cannot be controlled even at home. Because above God, you are a natural man. May God help you that you find that spirit that is hanging over you. We are addressing here the spirits. This man of Gadara, there are more than 2,000 spirits hanging over him. Those were very strong, brother. Maybe you only have only one. But this man had more than 2,000. When you ask who are you, we are, we are legion. Meaning we are many. And it was manifested when it entered into the, the pigs. 2,000 of them. So they were very strong. And they come to kill. May God help you, sister. May God help you, my dear brother. So you see, that's the age you are living in. Demons all over. But now the cunning of the, of the, of the devil makes the people believe that they are Christians. I'm reading still the message of Satan, Satan Eden, Adenia hmm? Satan. Now the cunning, para 16, but now the cunning of the devil now makes the people believe that they are Christians. When they are not, there is nothing. You don't have to seal it. It is just more cunning day than it would be, than when you had seal your life away with your testimony. The devil has set every cunning trap. The devil has set every cunning trap. Kila mtoe umewekwa. He he is a deceiver. And just told us, Matthew 24, how be that we are living in the most deceitful day that we ever lived. So close that it will deceive the very elected of God. Possible for him. To deceive. He never read. Trying to pervert that word to them, making them see some other edge. God's Eden was established in righteousness. Satan's Eden is established in sin. Because Satan is sin and God is righteousness. And God's kingdom was established in righteousness and peace and life. And the certain establishment is in sin and religious sin. So God is requiring. Eh? God is demanding righteousness from us. And how do you attain that righteousness? It's by accepting to be born again. You believe the word of God. You accept it. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. Very simple. You don't have to go to, eh, to climb the mountain. No. Just set yourself somewhere, hear the word of God. Believe it, accept it. Say amen, this is, the, this is my word. Amen. And God will, will do the rest. Yes. The prophet says, uh, faith, we believe, uh, when, when, he talk, when he talks about healing, he says healing is very simple. The way you are saved, and you believe that you are saved, just believe even the healing the same way. Faith is like childlike. You see, my mama, and I'm talking about my son, Toto, not to have a shida. The prophet says, faith is like childlike. We will keep on Toto. When I go to the house, I will go to you will protect the Toto. Now, come back to the house, I will go to the house, and 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 I will go to the and I know he's, he's protected. The man is protected. So, faith like, childlike faith, 
ni wewe tu kuamini kama huyo mtoto anaamini kwamba hawezi anguka. Wewe pia unaamini you are protected that the faith God is looking for. You don't have to look it somewhere else. Just simple faith and God will help you. Age you are living in. Can you give me the message 965 12.07 Leadership Para 3.30 This is one of the messages that Brother Benham was now Halikuwa na kubili mwisho mwisho Wa safari yake hapa In fact, ili kubili wa tari saba Benham anapata jali tari kumi na nani December 25th anakufa. This is what he says here. Oh God, let me go. Lord, don't leave me behind. Jesus, let me go with you. Father, I don't want to stay here on this earth to watch this tribulation coming on. I don't want to stay here in this insanity. I don't want to stand here with the hideous sights, the people losing their mind. No one I don't want to stay with such kind of people. According to him. And he's praying here. The people losing their mind. We look at a man trying to act like beasts and look like beasts. Man try to act like a beast and look like a beast. And exactly that's what is happening today. Men and the prophet had said that at the end before Jesus Christ come people without the spirit of God will act like a beast. And he says a man without the spirit of God is a beast. And here he says we look at man and man trying to act like a beast and look like a beast. And the women trying to look like animal. <laughs> That's how the prophet put it. They don't say that women look like a beast. They, say that they look like animal. How? I don't know. But they look like animal. And the Bible is not playing. He is praying here before God. Women trying to look like animals. With the pains on their face. These are the things that made Brother Abraham not to stay here. Sisi na wanaka tu mambo kama mambo ya kawaida. But anasema mambo haya ya kuona wanawake kuwa kama wanyama wakiwa na rangi kwa uso wao hiyo ninamfanya Mungu usini wake nikae katika ulimwengu huu. And to live you have the spirit of God. You look at those things you see your heart breaking. If you have the spirit of God you will see your heart breaking. Some of us were even afraid to walk in, in the streets because you don't want to see what you, what, what things are happening there. So but the man I'm saying with the with the pains on their face knowing that these things are predicted to happen that the thing will they will go so insane till the locals will rise up with hair like women. So insanity yes. it is with us now it is coming why because people have refused the word of god the jana wamekata ndio sababu wameingia katika viwango ambao wame hivi kama wangeamini na mungu wameokoka wanaenda college hawangekuwa na shida lakini kwa sababu wanaenda college without the spirit of god na wanakutana pale na mapepa ambayo imeinuka mahali pale wanajiingiza mahali pale Biblia nabia nasema mara the bible says that the marriage is honorable we must respect and you must be advised today mtu anaenda university anaoa wanakaa na bibi kwa hiyo miaka yote atamaliza huko ndio wameoa mara jina kufanyika kama hivyo kweli that those are the reasons we are talking about mnajiingiza katika mambo ambayo huja hujafikia wewe umepewa nafasi na wazazi kusoma tuna watu huko nje wamepita mtihani wame college because hawana pesa but the parent has sacrificed amekutuma shule nao umeenda kuolewa 
wanaenda kutembea huko uchi wanaenda kufanya vituko vingine ambavyo havieleweki suali mnajua vile mnatukata mnatufunya mioyo mpaka tunaanguka chini mnatuua mapema vijana wetu mnajua mnatuua mapema we have sacrificed we uwe mahali pale apere na sacrifice na wewe unatakaja mzazi natural man unatakaja mzazi wanasema na mnaiki jana wangu mbona niambia ati wanapiga simu akisema poto poto limepotea albabu zipo tu pesa poto limepotea sitafanya pitagani mzazi anakimbia mbio na kwenda kutafuta pesa mtoto wangu amesema ati poto limepotea kumbe ni utakajifu anaenda kukunyoa pombe na wanawake Just imagine mzazi anangangana kutumia kijana pesa ili waende wakule na, na muke. Na mzazi analala njaa. Anatembea bila nguo. It is very bad. And if you are here confess to your parents. It's very true brother. It's very painful. Mungu atusaidie. You need to be born again. I thank God for my my boy ndugu. Yes. Yeye ananiambia na siri zote ambazo ziko mahali pale na ukora wote wa kuibia wazazi pesa. Yes. Anasema mambo tuna wake tuna siku ambayo nimekupigia simu ya kwamba disinuni iko gini mimi nakupiga kama sina chochote na na njia. Yes. Na kwambia nitumie tu 100. Hiyo itanisukuma siku moja au mbili. Ana ni sababu. Lakini ukora wa pesa kuna gai msasi. Suali na unajua tu mahali ambao unatoka mzazi is struggling hana tu pesa fulani ambako naye ambao anachota hivi alafu anakutumia he is struggling kupata hiyo pesa ambayo anakutumia na wewe unacheza gini unasema mtu anauza laptop alafu anapiga anafanya raha anapiga simu nyumbani na laptop yake wameiba kitu ya 75000 mzazi anangangana anangangana mzazi ambao mko na pesa nyinyi pia ndio mnapatia watoto kichwa Ati mlo na kesema mnayo the very day tena pesa imetumwa 75 yende ununue. Okay yana sema ndio nimeweza eh. Miko de helpers. Mungu afanye nini? Atusaidie. Nabii alilia insani tiki ingia na hiyo ndio insani tama utazungumzia. Hiyo ndio uenda simu wa huyo huyo kijana wa gadara wengine wanafikiria kwamba mwenda simu ni kutembea njiani ukiwa na nyonyo ukiwa samuna umetoa nguo a a vitiko ama vituko ambao unafanya unaidia mzazi sasa wewe ni mtu wa aina gani si wali my dear brother anaidia mzazi na umeuza laptop ni laptop hii unasomea hiyo isipokuwa ni wenda simu ni nini si wali hiyo laptop ambao wamekununulia kusomea unaenda unauza na pesa ambayo unauza unaenda kutembea na wasichana unapeleka mesaje kisumu wenda subu na hali ya juu sana ndugu yako na huko tena unapiga simu unajua baba anatuma pesa unafanya baba na mama karibu wapigane nyumbani mama anasema usipotumia kijana kijana ana napigia katika wa mama ndio wanajua ani mama laptop yake ime wameipa sasa sina hata na mtihani iko iko keso mama anambia baba unajua mtoto wameiba kile laptop ah mimi sina pesa ah baba usisemi hata utaki mtoto afanye mtihani anafanya mzana kimbe hii ulimenga na madiza anatafuta pesa kumbe anatafutia mtu ambako na bibi wenda zimu majaribio ambayo vijana wanapitia ni mengi kuliko sisi hali ambayo iko zamani miaka zamani tulikuwa na 74 education ya zamani mimi nilipitia hiyo. Maana huko nyuma tena ilikuwa nyingine. Tulikuwa na 8 pia. Kimi mimi nilipitia 7, kapitia 4, nikapitia years in high school, then when I university. Na kusema ukweli, wale watu ambao walikuwa naenda high school from 5 and 6, they came up to be very responsible people. Eh, sisi tulikuwa na fundisho na form 6, wale ambao walikuwa wamemaliza form 6, they were very responsible. Mtu akisimama kwa pelena mna yake address wanafunzi mnaona ameiba huyu. Huyu anaiba kuingia university na wangeingia university watu ambao wako machua na leo hii vijana wadogo wa miaka 14 wanaingia university ambao hawajui chochote hawajui left right wakipata pesa pale namna hiyo ya rep namna inawashanganya akili mpaka hawajui kuzimama ni wapi wanafikia kumbe wameenda raha hawajaenda kusoma 
Watu walikuwa wanaingia university wakiwa machua. Wanajua kile kufanya. Mtu akimaliza form 5 and 6 a very responsible person. Anajua kuvaa eh hey, walikuwa kwanza in fact duko walikuwa na vans, eh, form, six, form 6 walikuwa na vans, form 5 walikuwa na vans, sisi tulikuwa na vans makanyasa secondary lakini ukienda form 5 na mnavaa sasa coats mashuti wakitoka huko walikuwa na anaenda kwa secondary si kufundisha very responsible from there they are prepared they end the university wakiwa huko wanavaa vizuri eh hey, kwa mtu akikuja kwa village anavaa shuti Anaonekana na wanakuja na t-shirt na tuko kitu kingine tuka hapa hivi. Sasa hii ni nini tena? Nywele nini? Hata mtu haonekana responsible. Una simu hii mtu hata akiwa ni mwalimu atakao mwalimu ina gari. Akiwa manager, what kind of a manager is he going to be? But you see this everywhere. Ukiangalia okay, lecture na wao pia wanafanana nao. That is the age we are living in. Kila mtu amekuwa confused. This age now. Wakati wetu ilikuwa wakati mzuri. Eh? Hata hii sita mazi wakati ya university. Zamanda haziko hivyo. University ungepewa everything. Unakula, unafanya nini, nyama, kuku, nini. Hii leo hii. Wadilo na kakana hati kukule pia ni sida. Pia wanapitia changamoto nyingi sana kwa university pia. Kwa wana ambaha wana kiti ya kukula. Wengine wajingisha katika mamboi kwa sababu. Hana chochoti. Hana jikuta wajingisha mahali pale. That's why. Sukuru mungu kama mekuokoa. Na atasimama na wewe katika hali hiyo ngumu. We have people who have gone to university. Wakiwa meokoka. Na wametoka kukua meokoka na wakawa wasindi. They have given a testimony. Wamepitisha na motokubo. Wamekona chakula bitu vingi na muhimu. Lakini hawa kukosa. Ati wajingise kwa makosa kwa sababu wamekosa hii na hii. Apana walisimama na hilo na muna mungu waka wasaidia. And as I'm speaking in water mouth. That's a very responsible people kabisa. Lakini wakikuambia manena mbao lipitia university Unashanga na alisema nilisimama mm. And here I am today Oh mungu watusaidia wapendwa Sijamalisha maombi and gubrana hamwe in the message of leadership Knowing this thing that are predicted It will happen That the thing will They will, they will go they will go so instantly, locusts will rise up with hair like women, to hold the women, and teeth like lions, and things, things that you said. The mental, the mental condition of the people will be completely gone. The mental condition of the people will be completely gone. We see it in the making right now. But Abraham Hama at that time he was looking, he was, he, was, he was seeing it in the making right now at that time. Lord, help us. Restore us to the same mind of Christ Jesus our Lord. Restore us to the same mind of Christ Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, let the mind that was in Christ be in you. That the same mind of Christ. And the man that was in Christ was the word of God. Yes. With the message of the word that God has brought it to us today. Let that word occupy your mind. Yes. Hmm? That you will be saying now. Yes. The mind of Christ will be in you. It will, it will direct you. It will guide you wherever you are. Yes. Even in, in college, it will take care of you. And this word, if you obey, you respect this word. You are obedient to this word. Then God is obligated to take care of you. That's the matter. The temptation in a God. And God knew this age is going to be evil the way it is. Then he brings, he brings the word to protect you and me. We are protected. Why should you fear, brother? Ondoa uoga kachini aneno. Obey the word of God. And the prophet says obedient to the word of God entitles you to the Holy Ghost. May God help us. So you see, the prophet was crying. God, don't leave me. To usiniwachi nikai katika ulimengu humu. Bae, ambao huko na watu ambao ni wendazimu. Watu ambao wana heshima. Mutu ambao kikanyako mgu. Mgu ina mrai. Ako na mulipuko wa sira. Sira ya hali ya juu sana. That's very true, brother. Bijani, mungu wa saidi. Sisi pia, 
tumekuwa vijana tumepitia njia hii your father tumekuwa na yeye ndugu yangu sister tumekuwa na yeye kanisani tukiwa vijana kabisa na nyuki kwa hiyo miaka yote brother james akitoka college akawa posted na nyuki i was there tukao tunaendelea naye katika huduma akiwa co pastor wa ndugu the late brother steven karangi tuko tunasikia neno la mungu wamekana neno la mungu mpaka saa hii sasa ni wazee ambao wanaweza saidia you see wakijiingisha katika hii ukora ukora na mna hiyo it could not be there today eh pastor hila hiya eh ni watu ambao mungu pia amekuza tu juice amekuwa hapa kanisani na nakuru eh pastor unajua historia hiyo yote wewe ndio ndio yule mtume na ibasa na mnaenda saidia na ibasa mnaenda akabakia huko hata wakati alikuwa alikuwa amemtuma hapa sa changwani we are coming there hiyo miaka ingine ambayo imepita hiyo you see kusimama na neno la Mungu we are here today so leo ukiona ulimwengu unakusha kesho na unataka kufanya mambo ambayo hayafaniki itawezekana namna gani brother was talking about responsibility you are the deacons of tomorrow you are the preachers of tomorrow you are the trustees of this church kama eh sasa hapo ndio mimi sikubaliane na group ya polygamy and watu wao wetu sasa kama watawa who will be the deacons but deacon hao hawezi wao vile hawezi wao tuki kwa nakolola sasa hao watoto si ndio wanatoka deacons kama hao hawezi kujichunza wajitunze mpaka wafikie wakati wa kuwa kuwa wanaoa tu tutakuwa na deacon mtatoa wapi sasa hiyo haingiane kabisa na neno la Mungu so you are the leaders of this church tomorrow may god help you that you stand with the word of god it is possible huyu shetani ambaye anakudanganya kwamba it is not possible it is possible ah wazee hakutoka tu katika tumbo za mama wao kuja hapa na mnao wakao wameogoka hapana pia wamepitia changamoto yao ambao mmepitia na wakakutana neno hili likuhubiriwa mimi nilikutana na mtu akanikuhubiria wa kidini wa sauti ya ukofu akanikuhubiria neno hili kwa barabara na mimi nikaokoka kwa barabara nikapiga magoti pale chini jamaa akaniombea na jamaa mpaka leo hatujaonana naye na akanituma hapo kwa kanisa lingine akasema wewe unaenda mahali pale I was going there. Within that year, that was 1983. Mwezi wa tatu. Mwezi wa mwezi wa 10, Pastor Mbaga akawa invited hapo kwa hiyo kanisa la sauti ya ukufu. Na akakubili neno, ujumbe huu sasa. Na tulikuwa tumejaa pale. You see, I told you you must meet God ana kwani. neno la Mungu. Mimi nikasikia neno hilo nikawa kali kabisa na nika I was pricked. Na baadaye nikabeba nika mikono nikasema ndugu nataka huyo Mungu. Nataka hiyo neno ambayo unakubiri. Iko tafauda ile ambayo tumesikia mahali hapa. Na nikaamini na kaenda kanibatisha. Here I am today. Na nilikuwa bado sijaoa. Mimi nilikuwa na nyuki kabla sijaoa. Nimekaa, nimeoa. Nikao nimekuja harusi, baada hilo nilioenda nyinyi ndio mlikuwa mnapanga harusi yangu. That's very true. They can success. Here I am niko na watoto. Mungu amenipatia watoto seven of them. Mungu amewajalia ndio wanasoma. Wengine wametoka. Sina shukuru Mungu jambo hilo. So it is possible. Nyinyi pia mtakuwa wazazi kesho. Na vile unafanya ujanganyifu kwa mzazi. The same mtoto wako pia atakuja kukufanya hivyo. Vile unadanganya yako utinitumie pesa sijui laptop yangu imekupotea, mtoto pia atafanya hivyo ndio utasikia uchungu sana. Mungu anahakikisha kwamba wewe pia utapitia hiyo njia. Mtakuwa na watoto kesi. Mnafikiri mtakaa hiyo miaka yote? Ndugu yangu, utakuja kuwa na familia. Utakuja pia wewe kuitwa baba. Hii ukua unafanyia baba pia wewe mtoto atakufanyia. Ndio utakuka chini ulie kweli kweli. Kama Mungu hata kusaidia utachukua panga na ukate mtoto. Na wewe ndio ulikuwa unafanya hivyo. Sasa unaona uchungu. Bila maana jaribu sema let us be honest. The spirit of God came from the fountain that is honest yes. that is true yes. that is righteousness and that is the spirit that we receive today the spirit of god yes. is of truth is of honest yes. sema tu kweli unapokuwa si uleni kitu imetendeka sema hii kitu imenipotea baba nisaidie hii kuliko kufanya uongo yes. na kulagai mzazi wewe ni mlagai the spirit ya ulagai imefanya nini imekuingia na hiyo inaweza toka tu kama you are born again utakuwa mtu mzuri na mambo yako itakuwa mazuri 
my brother my sister kama unaweza kuwa honest Mungu pia atasimama na wewe in all ways na Mungu hawezi kusimama na wewe and you are not honest if you are honest god is more honest than you if you are humble god is more humble and he will come he will know the problem that you are undergoing he will come for lakini ukiwa mkora mkora oh msara amekuwa mkora ndugu amekuwa mkora hata wakati wa kuoa wakora wanakutana that's the very true wewe ni mkora utapata mkora mwenzako vile ndugu alikuwa anasema umeenda umeoa asiamini na nakuambia kwa macho mbona uliwaja wasichana wazuri kwa kanisa na sana anakuambia ukweli sema wasichana wazuri walikuwa kanisa hapa atakuwa amekosa ni kitu gani ambao uliona kwangu ukawaacha wale wasichana ambao unaniambianga ndio uliwaja wasichana unajua saa hiyo sasa ndio unaanza kuona na ni kweli tuna wasichana walikuwa kanisa mbona niliooa huyu na naye mbona hawa wasichana huko wana mna hiyo sasa atakuwa sawa ukiwa mkora Mungu pia atakuletea mko mkora ukiwa mwaminifu Mungu atakuletea mwaminifu mwenzako. Mungu ni mungu yangu. Na marriage is not divisible. Until the day that you separate. Kama umepata huyo mkora ndugu yangu, na nani na huyo mkora mpaka kifo. Usiruke kwamba ai baba, ati ah si wewe mwenyewe baba yako utafutia wewe mwenyewe ndio utafuta mkora. Ni wanane tu na hiyo. Mungu atawapatia neema huko mbeleni. Nashukuru Mungu. Amen. Amen. The message and the note note 960815. What's the time? What time is this stop? It's already 3 na stop what time you are looking for the para 82 what time are you stopping of past okay Okay prophet says let me prophesy something to you just before it comes to pass the whole world is grouping in insanity and it will get worse and worse and worse until there will be a bunch of maniacs and it's almost that way now yes not tomorrow now so the problem in this message is taking us back again to the maniac of gadara akasema the time is coming and it's already here ndisha chini ndugu yangu ndisha chini hapo ite tu eh eh isi anasema the whole world is grouping in insanity the whole world it's only those with the spirit of god ambao wamepita hii stage lakini ulimwangu ni moti na ni ukweli any person without the spirit of god is a beast you we can't we at west compromise hiyo hiyo ni ukweli na tumeshuhudia tumeona wanaume wakiwa wana repo watoto wadogo wakiangukia watoto wadogo tena mtoto wake huyo kama si mnyama ni nani unataka kufanya namna gani hiyo ni nini mahali mtu amefika the whole world is grouping in insanity And not only men even women wametoa nguo wamebaki tu wichi tu wa mnyama wanatembea and they will get worse and worse and worse so mambo haya hakuna siku nyingine ambayo itaenda kurekebishwa ni kama tu mwaminia anasema anaenda kurekebisha mambo ya siasa you cannot you can't it will get worse and worse and worse and there will be a bunch of maniacs like ule wa gadara that's the stage people are going in that is the highest stage now lakini hii nyingine sasa ndio kidogo wenda simu mdogo umeshika butu sasa unaenda stage ya maniac it will get worse and worse 
and worse until they will be a bunch of maniacs. And it is almost that way now. This is the prophet saying, and he's not playing with the words. He said, Polypid is not a place to joke. So he's saying here, it is almost there, it is, it is almost that way now. That was 1965. How many years has passed to date? And we can see how it has gone from worse to worse, from worse to worse to worse to worse. Until now, it's a bunch of maniacs. Three. Could you imagine a man driving with his lights off on the wrong side of the road? In the Bamuka Magari, Mesudia, Mugana Taraka, and Agara Kibisha Uku, Mugana Kuya Poma Melea, and an end of the Paragali, and a Munepaka, and a good and a Yako Lori. Alam Uko Quetu was a Muloga, not a Mukuloga Uko Quetu Muda Kufini Bila Kurugua. Yani kwa nyingine watu hawastahili kufa. Huko kwetu mtu akikufa amelogwa. Na hiyo speed imepaka kila mtu. Hata ndugu yangu hata ndugu yangu mwingine akikufa unajua huko kwetu familia zetu ni polygamist. Napata my father ako na wanawake wawili. Ule mama mwingine ako na watoto wengine huko kwetu nyumba yetu pia iko na watoto wengine. Hata mtoto akikufa huko wale wanasema sisi ndio tumeua. Hapa pia mtu akikufa hapa huko wao ndio wamefanya bibi wameua. Sasa mnakuwa confused. Hata angalia vile ndio anasema. Could you imagine a man driving with his lights off on the wrong side of the road? A Ricky, young kid supposed to be right out of high school. Kill a bunch of people. Does that stop them? The next one come right behind him doing the same thing. Can you imagine a young man that thinks that, that thinks any, any, anything of himself getting out here and acting the way they do? Could you imagine a young woman and a bloom of womanhood, beautiful, well built, shaped, profile, face, beautiful, and the very thing of, of her being pretty shows that we are the end time. See, she has went all all together to world feature, worldly things are not the beauty of the holiness, sweetness in her soul. I have seen women on the outside of, outside of them there is nothing to look at. But you speak to them one time, talk to them a few minutes, they are really general something that you, you can't get away from. See, beauty of the of, of outside. It's of the devil. It is of the world. So my brother, who are you here, and you want to get your helpment, don't look for beauty. Look for character. Beauty will fade away one day. Do not stay there forever. May God help you. Amen. 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 Shaka kamwe a 
you loved us first. Father, you have called us unto victory. And Father, through many witnesses, we keep hearing it is possible. We thank you, for indeed it is possible to climb all the mountains until, oh Lord, we come to you. Father, you have been very gracious to us. You have led us well. Thank you for everything, Lord. We do thank you, Lord, for these meetings, Lord. Oh, Father, we plan this meeting with great concern. We have our young people here. That is, we have heard. They are combated. They are confronted with very many difficulties. Because Satan knowing that he has got about a little time, he has come in full force. He has used all technology and is out to finish. But we thank you, Lord. You said that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And that's why, Father, all the time, the color is getting to Christ. Be born again. Let Christ be your life. And you'll overcome. We thank you, Lord. For oh, Father, so much has been said. And it is the truth. God, we pray. As you made it possible for these young people to come and hear this. Father, may your word find a loving place. May it find a good ground. May you be with them to overcome the world. May you, Father, make them so humble, so committed to you, so that, God, you may fulfill the purpose for which you created them. Have mercy, and may your word be effective in our lives. We do thank you very much for your servants. You have used them well, Lord. We appreciate it. We wish them your blessing, Lord. May you give them a lot of blessing and a lot of strength so that even tomorrow, God, they may minister unto us and may glory, may honor be unto you. As we leave this place, may your presence go with each one of us. We pray, we trust you, Father, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So it has been a good day and uh, we thank you brother Hillary. You brought us uh, a brother that hasn't been here and uh, we are happy. We really appreciate uh, what God has done to us through you people. Uh, I just want to let you know that tomorrow we shall have a marathon of meetings. So tomorrow it will be a mixed meeting. I wish all of you can make it tomorrow again where we mix together with the parents and all that and we be ministered too. The meetings will start again at 9 o'clock. If all things go the way things went today, we find starting at 9, it is possible to have two meetings. And that will take us to lunch. Then after lunch, we have one meeting and break for a cup of tea. After that, we shall have the last meeting that will be uh, go to the evening whereby after that meeting we just break bread that is at the end of the meeting we break bread we have feet washing and then we shall go home that is the way we plan it for tomorrow so we have uh, several meetings on Sunday uh, we plan only to have the Sunday service so be informed of the plan that we have. And uh, I don't know whether we are having visitors among uh, these young people or they are, you are the people that we are with you all the time. Okay, 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 okay. So we, we, we thank God very much. We have some of uh, us that are very young who did their KSP, they are going to secondary school. I see Nema there. Am I seeing right? Is that Nema? Ah. And uh, Obadia. Where is Obadia? Oh, you are there. Yeah, uh, do we have another one? Who is soon going to secondary school? Oh, you are a who? Okay, okay. God bless you very much. So we are very happy and uh, it is good that we have these meetings so that when you go to the new environment, environment uh, you have a, a good uh, a good something you have already received in this youth meeting. So God bless you very much. And uh, let's try tomorrow if we can make it be here at nine with the uh, discipline we are having, it is possible for us to have those four meetings and that will be very good. So may uh, God bless you very much. Let's stand up now and just sing a dismissing song. I don't know whether Jim you can leave that place or or you, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, come, come. Uh, so let's uh, have uh, this young man leading us in a song, and then that will be it. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, sing. 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 Song number we two. We can stand. After all, we have said so much, and then after this, we are just going home. Take yeah. the name of Jesus with you. Take the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then wherever you go, precious name. Oh, how sweet hope of 